like and share. Episode 47, The Miracles of Saint Abinub, A Child Saint's Unyielding Faith Once upon a time, in the town of Nahisa, there lived a young boy named Abinub. He was a devout Christian, raised by his parents to love and honor God. At the tender age of twelve, during the reign of the Roman Emperor Diocletian, Abinub's unwavering faith would lead him on a remarkable journey of martyrdom and divine intervention. With the persecutions against Christians escalating, Abinub made a fervent prayer to God, seeking guidance on how to confess his faith in Jesus Christ. Inspired by his devotion, he set out on a courageous journey, giving away all his possessions to the needy. Along the way to Samanaut, Abinub encountered the Archangel Michael in all his celestial glory. Overwhelmed by this divine encounter, Abinub fell to the ground, but the Archangel lifted him up, revealing that he would suffer for three days in Samanaut and bear witness to Christ in other places as well. In Samanaut, Abinub fearlessly proclaimed his faith to the Roman ruler, openly denouncing the idols. Enraged, the ruler ordered his soldiers to whip Abinub on his belly, causing his intestines to spill out. However, the miraculous intervention of the Archangel Michael healed him, inspiring and encouraging the other Christians imprisoned with him. Together, they faced martyrdom for their unwavering devotion to Jesus. The ruler then took Abinab on a boat to the city of Atrib, where he subjected him to further torment by hanging him upside down from the sail. The ruler and his soldiers reveled in their cruelty, striking Abinab on the mouth. Miraculously, the soldiers were struck blind and the ruler paralyzed. In their desperation, they cried out to Abinab, pleading for his prayers and promising to become Christians. Abinub, guided by his boundless love and forgiveness, prayed for their healing. When they arrived in a trip, their sight was restored, and they joyously embraced Christianity. Infuriated by the conversions, the governor of a trip subjected Abinub to severe torture, but each time, the Lord displayed his power, miraculously saving him. Witnessing these miracles, many onlookers turned to Christ and willingly faced martyrdom. Even when the governor ordered Abinub's hands and feet to be cut off, the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, restoring his limbs and granting him the ability to walk. The miraculous sight led hundreds of people to embrace Christianity. Undeterred, the ruler sought the help of magicians to defeat Abinub. They suggested throwing him into a cell filled with venomous snakes. However, just as God protected Daniel from the lions, the snakes remained harmless before Abinub. Astonished by his survival, Abinub emerged unharmed from the cell, leaving the ruler terrified. In a final act of love and mercy, Abinub prayed for the ruler's safety, and the snake that had coiled around his neck released its grip. This miraculous event touched the hearts of many, leading them to believe in Jesus. Frustrated by Abinub's resilience, the ruler's advisor advised him to behead the saint. Thus, the ruler ordered soldiers to execute Abinub by the sword. A faithful man named Julius wrapped Abinub's body in fine linen and returned him to his hometown of Nahisa, where he was buried. Centuries later, Abinub's relics were transferred to the St. Virgin Mary and St. Abinub Church in Samanaud. Over time, numerous apparitions and miracles occurred in the church. Abinub would often appear as a 12-year-old child, playing with children his age. However, his apparitions ceased for many years when an elderly priest forbade him from appearing. But in 1974, with the permission of two bishops, the apparitions resumed, accompanied by countless miracles. Even today, the miracles of St. Abinub continue to inspire and captivate the faithful. Stories abound of his divine interventions, such as a man miraculously remaining dry after falling into a puddle with the help of a young boy who vanished into thin air. 
The extraordinary acts of St. Abinab serve as a testament to his unwavering faith and the enduring power of God's love. The story of St. Abinab teaches children important lessons about faithfulness, courage, and forgiveness. St. Abinab showed unwavering faith in Jesus Christ, even in the face of persecution and torture. His bravery and openly declaring his beliefs encourages children to stand up for what they believe in, no matter the challenges. Additionally, St. Abinob's ability to forgive and show love towards his enemies demonstrates the importance of kindness and forgiveness, even towards those who may mistreat us. Overall, the story encourages children to remain steadfast in their faith, be courageous in their convictions, and practice forgiveness and love in their interactions with others. See you again soon. Subscribe, like, and share.